Hey everybody, Mike Hagen here. I wanna to talk to you today about Kelvin white balance settings inside of your Nikon camera. Now to access your Kelvin settings in your camera, what you'll do is you'll push your white balance button. Now your white balance button could be over here on the left side or up here on the top of the camera. It just depends which camera you own. So what I'm going to do is push the white balance up here and then rotate with my thumb dial or the main command dial. I'll then rotate it over to the letter K, here we go, K stands for Kelvin. Now while holding in my white balance button, I'm going to rotate my sub command dial. That's the front one. And you'll see that the whole range here, the entire range is from 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. Oops, there we go, 10,000 Kelvin. Now the Kelvin numbers actually represent different color temperatures of light. For example, Maybe 3200 Kelvin represents something like incandescent lighting conditions. 5400 Kelvin represents sunny, maybe daylight, or even your Nikon flash, that's about 5400 Kelvin. Higher Kelvin values, maybe 6200 Kelvin, somewhere in that range, that represents like cloudy days. So once you start to learn the color temperature of light, you can then go ahead and dial in your Kelvin value. Most photographers use the Kelvin value if they have a good understanding of light. After some period of time as a photographer, you'll start learning these numbers. Low Kelvin values like 2500 Kelvin add a very strong blue filter to your photograph. High Kelvin values like 10,000 Kelvin add a very strong amber filter to your photograph. So you can really use Kelvin as a creative tool. Maybe you do a low Kelvin to make your photos look really warm or a very high Kelvin to make them look very blue. Now there is a tool that you can use to determine the Kelvin value in your scene. It's called the Sekonic Prodigy C500R. And it's a little handheld light meter that you can actually tell the specific color temperature of light. So what you'll do is you'll hold it up near your subject's face, you'll click it, and it'll give you a readout, and it'll say maybe 3,850 Kelvin, at which point you can go to your camera and dial that into your camera. Now there is another way to dial in your Kelvin values beyond the top. You can actually go into the menu setting and go into your white balance here, choose your Kelvin, and then you can go into the digits here and manually set them up. So let's say for example, your, your Prodigy C500R said you needed to be at 3,827 Kelvin. We just go right here, 3,827. Well, you can't get to the last digit, but you can get pretty close. So we'll just round this up, 3,830 Kelvin. Then I hit the OK button and we're set. So that's all I have to talk about with respect to Kelvin values. Thanks for watching, have a great day.